it is my view that soon payers will start paying for those drugs and reimburse patients for those drugs which are safe and effective as demonstrated through their own data mining and data systems. So the area of real world outcomes is, is really interesting and critical right now for our industry. Um, ultimately, it used to be a goal to get a commercial approval of a product and then continue to monitor for adverse events and other special populations. Now, with the, um, with the pressure on our industry to pr provide economic value and also to better understand how patients will respond to therapies from the outset, we have to think more carefully about how we approach real world outcomes. And of course, as we know, the goalposts in product development have moved from approval to reimbursement. And, and so it's critically important that um, pharmaceutical companies generate data to achieve optimal reimbursement uh, as opposed to just focusing on uh, product approval. And the value of real world data is to a payer, it means that there's less uncertainty about the effectiveness of the product that they're buying. Um, if they just use the data that's generated through a phase three clinical trial, those patients are very different from the real world patients and the outcomes are going to be different and the value of the product therefore is going to be different. So real world data gives the payer much more certainty around the value of the product that they're buying. You're not going to know until a product hits the market and gets used in the real world, in a real world setting, how effective it truly will be, how safe it will truly be. And, and because of that, you won't really know what the value of the product is. So we're seeing manufacturers now look at quality of data, relevance of data, patient-centric data, behavioral data. And all of that, I think, coming together is going to influence um, our approaches towards medicine in general. And I think product lifecycle teams in particular, who, who, who typically, they chart out the pathway from concept of a drug all the way through its life cycle to when it gets commercialized and thereafter. I think those product life cycle teams are going to take a different approach. It's going to be scientifically driven.